What is going on guys? So today we're gonna be doing some cool stuff. As you can see, we tore Ashley's car apart already. Um, we're still waiting to do the drive shaft, we're just waiting for it to come in from G-Force. We're gonna be probably end up taking the car, we'll just trailer it down to Nick's. It's much easier to do the drive shaft up in the air, especially with the exhaust. Uh, they stock exhaust, a little annoying to take off. Uh, but we are doing a few things to Ashley's car. So, obviously, we removed the front bumper. Uh, it's actually a fairly simple thing to do. I don't want to really show how to do it. You have to do this very carefully. Um, there is one bolt on each side that breaks very, very often. Um, so we kind of just jumped into it and worked on it. Uh, so we went ahead and removed the front bumper. We removed the two upper and lower grills. So we are going to be doing a grill delete on Ashley's car. The reason why is because the heat exchanger that goes with the Whipple is very large and a very nice to look at. So we want to expose that and make it available so everyone can see it. The second thing you can notice is the headlights are out. And why did we take the headlights out? We actually have had this kit here for a while, Diode Dynamics. And originally uh, we were gonna send these out to get, uh, get done. But the problem is to get headlights done, you have to take the bumper off and everything else send them out and then get them back and it was just a big hassle uh, so we actually have a friend over here quinn he knows how to do these so uh yeah this is going to be the color gills um, on ashley's car some people think it's ricerish to do i think it's pretty cool i want ashley to do colored uh demon eyes as well i think that's what it's called i'm very new when it comes to lights uh but that's what i originally wanted to do she doesn't want to do that she doesn't want to go too over the top uh, she just wants to have the uh, colored gills or basically the three hash marks i don't know what to call them uh, but we have the diode dynamic kit right here so we have mr quinn here what's the instagram dark 50 dark 50 and he is a professional on installing these um maybe are you a professional? No, I'm not a professional. No, he I just, know what I'm doing. So. He just knows what he's doing. We're going to be using the good old oven here uh, to separate the glue. And don't mess up because these are like something like $1,000 to replace. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we have the diode dynamics. You tell me what we have because I honestly don't even know what we have. Diode dynamics, color changing, uh, daytime running lights with the blinkers. Nice. So, cool. This should look good. All right, well, we're gonna get started. We're gonna bake some lights. Get baked, dude. Get baked. Oh, now, now there's gonna be like <laughs> stoner jokes in the comments. You know it. No, don't smoke drugs, kids. Smoke tires. Yes. Insert clips. I like my headlights tender. Oh, we don't have those here. Oh. Yeah, a little, little medium rare action. That's what I typically look for. So we have this down at 210 degrees. Uh, Quinn says 210 degrees for about 10, 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. And that'll loosen up all the glue, hopefully, and not melt it. You know, it's only a thousand dollars to replace them. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> all right, so they're nice, nice and heated. In for 10 minutes. You should be able to. Oh, oh like wow, that. that was that was really good, Quinn. <laughs> good job. If it doesn't come off like that first try after 10 minutes, you're gonna do something wrong. The temperature's probably way too low. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually uh two times ten to the tenth power. No, it should take like five to ten times to get it off correctly. But there you go. That's exactly how I like it. Medium rare. Um, so Quinn is using a butter knife to attempt to separate it. Now he's using my iPhone tools. And um, no pressure, just don't screw up. Such precision. Such wow. What? Whatever you do, don't press the button. Don't press the button. So the lens is off. Now it's time to put the LED boards in. Yup. That would be, uh, where are they? Those things. Yep. 
So Quinn says we have to Dremel the stock LEDs out, or just the clips that hold it in. Yeah. Cool. Two one each. They can come out. That's the stock ones. And here are the new LED strips, which simply go on there. Correction. We just got to put the uh, correct side on. There we go. Just like that. Lit. Things are supposed to be colored. Of course, we got our fan, so you just make sure you do not hit the button. Don't worry, there's no batteries in it right now, you know. So I can hit the button all I want. All right, so we used a little JB Weld on the LED strips, and now Quinn's going to be assembling these. Go basically back in the car. All right, Mr. Quinn. What are we doing? Time to seal them up. Them Sealing right them up. We're using 100% silicone. Got the lenses there. Got those bad boys over there. All loaded up. Ready to go in the car. The only thing else left is just um, doing the wiring part on the car, right? Yes. Nice. Quinn's about to lay a nasty bead of silicone. Cinematic shot. Oh man. Oh, it's so beautiful. So much concentration. Don't smile. Playing beads. Careful, Quinn. So we got the headlights all sealed up. We just need to do the wiring on the car and we'll be good to go. Now Quinn is splicing in the connections to the factory plug. I put batteries in it. Oh. Should I hit the button? Should I hit the button? Self-destruct sequence initiated. Five, four, three, two, one. Push the power button. Nada. All right, so we were having a little bit of issues with the wiring, so we wanted to check. Uh, so we just did the um, positive and negative to the battery um, to make sure that everything's working. And bam. It's always a good idea to just run a straight source to the battery. That'll give you an idea of if things are working or not. That's pretty cool, dude. Whoa. That's trippy. That's sick. Wait, hit hit the boom button. Is that what the boom button does? Yo, it looks like police lights. We're gonna get pulled over. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's sick. Ricer lifestyle. So Quinn has figured it out. And he is bolting the headlights back in. And then we'll tuck the wiring away. Put the grill delete on. We'll be all set to go. All right. And we are doing the grill delete now. So Quinn is a professional at this as well. This mod costs a total of Dremel. Well, yeah, a Dremel. <laughs> or a French Dremel. Now you'll be able to see the massive Whipple heat exchanger through here. 
Well, there we have it. Sanded. Deleted. Nice. Nice. So, the next step in the do it yourself grill delete mod is to sand it. To sand it. Remember kids, safety first. What? Remember kids, safety first. Check out those sick goggles. The top one's done. Sick. I'll sand it out. Go. Looks pretty lit, dude. Nice. All right, so headlights are in. Quinn is putting the grill delete in. And then we're putting the bumper on. All right, just discover something cool. Sequentials. Oh, damn, that's cool. But how about that grill delete? Showing up kind of dark in this. Yo, that looks so sick. You can see the heat exchanger now. Quinn, go, go demo the lights. Oof. That's sick. Oof, the sequentials. That's so cool, dude. Yep. All right, put the cop lights on. Yo, just kidding. This definitely would not have cop lights. Yeah. That would be illegal. Yo, it looks so aggressive. Grill delete. Oh my god, I can't wait to see it in the daytime too. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Big shout out to Quinn over here. Uh, he kind of led the show on this, uh, doing the headlights. He's done it a few times before. Uh, he's also done the grill delete before. If you want a full how-to video, let us know down in the description in the or, or in the comments. Uh, Quinn might be doing a very similar thing to his S550. <laughs> All right, my allergies are killing me, but if you guys are interested in these diode dynamics, they also make a headlight kit. I actually didn't necessarily want the color changing headlights as well, um, so that's why we just did the sequential uh, gill things. I don't even know what to call them, um, but they also change color. Uh, so these are the diode dynamics ones. I'll link the kit down below in the description if you guys are interested. Again, let us know if you wanna see uh, a full how-to video. Well, this video, we were still kind of figuring things out, so I don't, don't like to show you guys how to do something if we honestly don't necessarily know what we're gonna be doing next. It's hard to film, it's hard to uh, narrate, um, so that's why I usually like to do things a few times before I make an actual how-to video. Uh, anyway, guys, make sure you slap that like button down below, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and we'll see you guys next time.